Moving on to the next example, your bank account earns 6% compounded interest per year. How long will it take for an investment of $12,000 to grow to $38,500? So we're going to take $12,000 now, which is our present value, and we're going to grow it to $38,500, which is our future value. And our bank account earns 6% interest and they're asking us how long will it take for that 12,000 to grow to 38,500. So the first way, let's solve it algebraically. So we would use the compound interest formula. So let's plug everything in. So our future value is 38,500. Our present value is 12,000. And then one plus R, our R is 6% and the R has to be in decimals. So that would be one plus 0 0.06. So let's just write 1.06 right away here. And we're solving for T. So what we have to do is we have to isolate for this variable T. So the first thing we do is we get rid of this $12,000 in front of this bracket that the T is attached to. So dividing both sides by $12,000 on the left side we would get 3.20833 and then notice on the right side how the 12,000s cancel out and we're just left with 1.06 in brackets to the power of t. Now to solve for that variable t let's do a little review so let's say we got a to the x equals b and we have to solve for that variable x what we have to do is we have to take the logarithm of both sides, or we could ln both sides. So if we ln a to the x and we ln this b, then the x can come down. That's basically a rule. Uh, ln or log of a to the x is equal to x ln a. And then that's just ln b, so x would equal ln b over ln a. So same thing here, we could take the logarithm of both sides and then that t can come down. So uh, either taking the logarithm or the ln, let's just do ln here. So we have ln of 3.20833 and that's equal to t, which we can bring down when we ln the 1.06. So then isolating for that t, we would divide both sides by ln of 1.06. So ln of 3.20833 divided by ln of 1.06 and we would get t of 20. So it would take 20 years for $12,000 to grow to $38,500 if we're investing at 6% compound interest. Now this ln here, it didn't have to be ln, it could also be log. So if you feel more comfortable using logarithms in your calculator, you can do that as well. You would get the same answer. Another thing you could have done algebraically is isolated for that t variable in the equation. And if you did that, basically you would have the ln of the future value over the present value in brackets all over ln of 1 plus r. So if you took all of your variables and plugged it in here right away you would get a t value of 20 as well and instead if you were to solve this uh, question with a financial calculator writing out your five variables so your n the number of periods we're actually solving that we're solving for the time so that would be a question mark the iy would be six percent and you write that as a full percentage not in decimals like we did here the payment, cash flows per period, there are no cash flows that are happening within that investment of $12,000. We're just investing it once at the beginning and then getting that final amount at the end. So there's nothing happening in terms of cash flows within those uh, time periods. So that would be zero. The future value would be 38,500 and that would be positive because we're getting that back at the end. And initially we are investing 12,000. So that is a negative cash flow to us. We are putting money in the bank account. And then computing it in your calculator, we would get N equaling 20, which is the same answer that we got here. 
So it takes 20 years for that investment to grow to 30A500. So both ways work. This way is a bit of a headache, especially with uh, using logarithms. Your teacher may require you to still know it this way, but uh, overall, the best thing to know is how to do it in your financial calculator. Make sure that you get your positives and negatives correct. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.